Hey, what's up y'all, Ryan back here again, and today I'm going to do a little bit deeper dive into the new Evo Amp Light from Revolt DSP. Now, for those of you that haven't seen my other shorter videos on this, this is a completely free high gain metal amp sim. Uh, it's based around like an EVH 5150 style amp, and again, completely free from my buddy Ryan at Revolt DSP. Link is down in the description if you want to check it out. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I just think this is a really dope plugin, and I definitely want you all to check it out. So today, this video is going to be a little bit quicker. I'm just going to jump through all of the settings and let you hear a tone test as I go along the way. And if you guys want to hear me do anything else with this plugin, let me know down in the comments. So, just so you all know, I am using my trusty GOC Guitars Illumina Plus with the Aurora Tone Ultraviolet pickups. Again, links in the description for all of this kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and dive in. So, when you first open up the plugin, this is the default tone that it sounds like. Everything's at noon, you can hear a little bit of noise going on. We're going to address that in a second. But... All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that noise first. You hear that, right? So let's go ahead and crank on that noise suppressor. Set it to the reduction setting. And I'm gonna crank it up a little bit further because I've got a lot of lights and everything going on right here. But let's go ahead and take a listen. That's a really good noise gate, honestly. Like it cuts out sounds that honestly should still be coming through, especially with not so aggressive settings on there. And I've got LED lights, I've got an LED monitor, my computer with its fan and everything are going and LED lights behind me as well. So really great job of the noise suppressor there. Um, obviously nothing going on, no hands. And it sounds great and it's not cutting the tone too much either, which is nice. So not a ton of sustained cutting there, even with aggressive settings. So if we turn on the overdrive here, I'm gonna go ahead and crank the drive down, the tone all the way up like I love to, and the level all the way up as well. These are traditional Tube Screamer settings. This is a Tube Screamer style pedal, but now we have. So again, let's hear that without it. So you can hear how much that cleans up the low end. I love that. So what I love about this is it's already a very usable tone. So I could definitely use that in a mix. I could jam through that all day long. But what's cool is if we click to the amp section here, you'll notice those buttons and knobs are still there because we can adjust them while we're in the effects section. And that's something that's really useful. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and bring the gain down to about three. That tends to be what I like it at. So still plenty of gain there. I'm gonna bring the lows down quite a bit. I'm gonna crank it down to like three as well. And I already know there's some of you that are gonna be like, oh, that's too much lows being taken out. Well, sure, for you maybe, but for me, this is probably going to go into a mix and those lows would be cut anyways. And I'd rather cut them at the amp because that affects how I play and it sounds better in my opinion. So there's that. All right, mids, I'm going to crank like I always do, but I'll, I'll pull them out and let you hear a scoop tone as well. But let's go ahead and crank these mids. All right, and let's go ahead and scoop them as well and see how that sounds. All right, so what about y'all? Are you team scooped or are you team boosting the mids? Uh, for me, I'm always team boosting the mids, even though I've watched a ton of videos with Josh Middleton lately and he's always scooping them and they sound fantastic. But to my ears, I just like adding the mids in. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the era I grew up in, you know? All right, let's add a little bit of highs to this as well. Let's crank that, not too much, but. And you hear it adds a little bit of extra uh, volume to that, so I probably gained about a decibel of volume off of that. So if you're gain staging, make sure to, you know, compensate for that. Uh, I'm gonna leave the volume alone, and let's crank the presence just so you can hear it. I know that I'm gonna pull it back down, but, so here is the tone now. Let's crank the presence up. So yeah, I definitely like that with the presence, just right at noon, honestly, let's bring it right back to noon. So to me, that's a very usable high gain metal guitar tone, completely free, not using any third party impulse responses or EQs or anything like that, which you can if you want to. In the cab section, you do have two different cabs to choose from and you can turn off the cab entirely. I love the mega oversized cab. It just does the thing for me and I know I can clean it up a little bit with that tube screamer and with cutting the lows a little bit. If I were to do any post-processing for this specific plugin, all I would do is throw an EQ at the end of the chain and I'd do a high and low pass filter. I'd probably do a high shelf around like 6K and then I would start maybe pulling out some of the weird little whistly frequencies like everybody does in a metal tone, right? And that's about it, honestly. This plugin really does do the thing. It does high gain metal. It does rock. It does everything in between, in my opinion. 
It's not gonna be the greatest clean tone that you'll ever hear, and that's honestly because that's not the kind of amp that this is. Nobody buys these style of amps for their clean tones. You know, that's just not really what they're made for. So, but that's it for me today, y'all. I mean, I hope that y'all check this out. It's a really great plugin. Again, completely free, not a sponsored post. Ryan over at Revolt DSP, he's just a really good dude, and he's giving out his literal blood, sweat, and tears for free with this amp plugin. He's a one-man team. He did all of the coding and all the work himself, so show him some love. Let me know down in the comment section if you like this, though, and if you wanna hear more from him because he's got some more cool stuff coming out in the very near future. So but yeah, that's it for me, y'all. If you like these kind of videos from me, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really does help me to uh, increase the amount of frequencies I can make these. So talk to y'all soon. Peace.